the best mob has finally arrived. That's right, guys. We got the camel in today's snapshot, 22W42A. And I have to say, it definitely lives up to the hype. So if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'll have all the details down below in the description. And I did stream this brand new snapshot for two hours earlier. So if you guys wanna check out that stream, I'll have a link down below as well. So let's waste no more time and let's check out the brand new snapshot. Starting with the best mob ever. His name is Leon, by the way, and Leon loves to eat cactus. Not only that, if you have two camels, you can breed them with cactus. And uh, I have to say the baby camel is by far one of the cutest. Oh my gosh, look at the ears, look at the legs. They are absolutely adorable and they're very tall. In fact, they're so tall that they can walk over a fence. That's right, guys. You have no problem walking over uh, fences, which is really cool. They have a ton of health, around 16 hearts. They're really fast as well, and they can jump really far. While I was playing around with them during stream, we got up to 13 blocks. So yeah, these guys can jump really far. Let's see if we can do it right here. Like we just jumped this entire ravine. So yeah, I mean, these mobs, they're just gonna be a blast. And I look forward to seeing, you know, if they make any changes, you know, maybe we can get a better saddle with storage. That'd be fantastic. But so far, I'm just loving the camels. And they can be found in the desert villages. Look at all of these bamboo items we have now. We got the planks, we got mosaic blocks, we got the stairs, the mosaic stairs, we have the slab, the mosaic slab, we got the fence with the fence gate, as well as the doors. Now let me tell you, these doors are absolutely breathtaking, as well as the trap door, and then we got the sign, the hanging signs, which we'll take a look at the hanging signs very soon. We got the button, the pressure plate, and the wraps. Real quick, here's a couple things that I just built briefly with some of the brand new blocks. And you can see that the doors are just incredible. Like, I don't know, I could just stare at it all day. And here's a better look at the mosaic blocks. So yeah, just the perfect block to place as a floor. And overall, I think they just did a great job with the textures. Over here, we have the wraps and I think they did a good job, especially with that added bamboo at the bottom. You can see like the two layers of bamboo, which is really neat, but I wish you could stand up. That's my only complaint is that I wish you could stand up while rowing, but overall, I think this is a really cool new addition. We also got the one with the chest as well. Next up, we have the chiseled bookshelf. And I think these things are so cool. They can hold up to six books. You can have enchanted books, regular books, a book and quill, and everyone has their own unique design or color. So every time you place a book, it's gonna change. And I think that looks really cool. It's a nice small little detail and you can make them using wood and slabs. So really easy to craft these things. I also like the top texture and I believe it's different from the side. Yeah, wow, that's beautiful. So you can use this as like a wall design or even like a floor design if you want to. Another cool thing is that it will interact with redstone devices, uh, I believe the comparator. So you can make like hidden rooms and do a lot of cool things with these bookshelves. Now, I don't think this interacts with the enchantment table. So you're not gonna get like any uh, enchantment levels or it's not gonna increase your enchantment levels if you place an enchantment table down. Next up, we have the hanging signs and they can be crafted, I believe, using chain and stripped wood. So we pretty much have a sign for every wood type. So let me know which one is your favorite, but I think my favorite would probably be either the mangrove or the warped, but they all look really cool and you can do some crazy designs. You can just constantly hang them. I've been playing with these signs for the past 10 minutes. They just look so cool. And I think my role players out there will really appreciate hanging signs. Bundles are finally back. And I have to say, I'm so happy they're back because I'm probably the messiest Minecrafter out there. 
and uh, I just need something that will help me organize my inventory. And that's exactly what bundles do. So let's go get a bunch of junk and then we'll use the bundle to organize that junk. All right, anything we should kill. There's an iron golem right there, so we're not gonna attack anything. But I think we have enough, oh, excuse you. All right, so all we gotta do is select our bundle and then we right click on all of our junk and then it automatically organizes it under the bundle. So if we look at our bundle right now, it showcases everything that we have in this bundle, which is really cool. And if we're trying to get the stuff out of it, all we have to do is right click it again, or we can just select our bundle and then right click it and it just takes everything out of your bundle and just rinse and repeat. We just click everything, it puts it back in. And this is just a really simple and easy way to deal with your stuff. And of course it holds more items too. So you can have as many bundles as you can hold and then you can put all your junk inside those bundles. So you can treat this as a way to organize your junk or you can treat this as extra inventory space. I think it's the perfect item. So that's everything we have so far in the 1.20 snapshot. I'm sure we'll be getting a lot more content, so just make sure you're subscribed, click that notification bell sign so you don't miss any of my uploads or streams, and I'll see you all in the next video. So take care, peace.